Today, we will check out Structs in C++ for Unreal Engine. You will see that Structs share a lot of similarities to classes, but also there are some differences. In general, Structs can be used to group related data together into a single data type. This helps with organizing your code and also makes it easier to pass those related variables to a function. A struct that you probably already have used a lot is the f vector. In that case, if we wouldn't use a struct, the values x, y and z would be separated, which in the case of a vector doesn't really make sense. So instead of keeping the values separated, f vector keeps them together and offers further functionality to interact with them. But let's see how we can create our own custom struct. First, we have to use the uStruct macro. In the next video, I will talk about some specifiers you can use that allow you to use this C++ struct in Blueprint. After the uStruct macro, we have to use the struct keyword and then give it a name. The name of a struct should start with an uppercase F. So let's say, for example, F player info. Since this should be a struct that stores some player related data. After the name, we define our code block where we also make use of the generated body macro again, which will do its magic in the background. Similar to classes, in the code block, we can define properties for our struct. For example, an f string for the player name and an integer for the age. Then we can also define multiple constructors for this struct. For example, a default constructor that takes no arguments and a constructor that takes a name and an age for the creation. Furthermore, you can also create normal functions that execute some functionality linked to the data of a struct. For example, we can create a function that logs the information of our player to the console. As you can see, everything seems very similar to classes. And that is also true, but like mentioned before, there are a few differences. First of all, per default, if you don't defy a specific access modifier, all properties and functions of a struct will be public. However, for classes, the default case is the private access modifier, so that the data is hidden when accessed from outside. Structs, as mentioned, are normally used with the main focus to group related data together and usually don't implement lots of complex behaviors. In those cases, and when you want to encapsulate your data, it makes sense to use a class. Now, let's have a brief look at how we can use our custom struct. It's pretty easy. We can just call our constructor and store the returned instance in a local variable. For example, we can use our default constructor, or we can use the constructor that takes a name and an age for the instance. Finally, we can call our function that logs the information of the struct to the console and you will see that for both instances, the name and the age gets locked to the console. So overall, now you should know that structs are a great option to keep related data together, which makes it easier to pass them to different locations in your code. Like mentioned before, next time we will check out how we can create a C++ struct and make use of it in Blueprint. But if you already have some questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.